you guys. I'm really excited that you guys are here. My name is Benjamin DeGraff, and I'm the program facilitator for the Boys Group, Young Men of Honor program. The Young Men of Honor program entails uh, leadership, goal setting, peer-to-peer uh, -peer mentoring, and uh, I think it's important because young boys, uh, especially young boys of color, uh, you know, they need role models, they need mentors, and they need uh, increasing life opportunities, and that's sort of what the, the program is all about. So it's really about giving young men uh, opportunities, planting seeds for the future, future greatness, and uh, as facilitators and guest speakers, uh, you know, really, really kind of cultivating those opportunities to see them grow. Well, some of the needs that uh, the young men have faced, uh, for some of them are uh, antisocial behaviors, um, boys becoming late, getting suspended, um, sort of other, other behavioral issues within the school. And so the, the program is really an opportunity for them to take advantage of uh, the variety, the, you know, a variety of different workshops and themes for them to basically just improve, improve their lives, you know, and improve their situation at school. So maybe uh, turning some of those negative behaviors into positive ones. I used to hang out with the older heads, and if they have a problem, they like tell me to go kick that kid. I just walk over and kick him. I don't care. Like I used to do so much things just for the fun of it. I used to get joy out of beating up little kids. I know that they can't do anything bad. But then with boys, they taught me like, what if I was that little kid? And instead of like fighting and doing all the regular bad stuff I should I do, they like make us play sports and burn our energy other ways. I was a good kid, but like, if there was, if there was supposed to be like someone bothering me, and I would retaliate back. But after the boys group, after the boys group, I haven't really gone to fights. And if someone bothered me, I'd walk away. I learned how to become a leader in the boys group program. I learned how to be a man and take responsibilities for my action and try not to make excuses and blame it on other people. The boys group is basically saying that we can accomplish way more than what people assume. Mm -hmm. and showing us how to be leaders of the school, knowing that we have the potential. I mean, I think the fact that the boys uh, come to the group you know, each and every week. I think that's one way to to measure uh, some of our success. I think it's about really acknowledging, acknowledging them as individuals, them as young boys, really validating uh, who they are, validating their experiences, um, listening. Um, I, I think part of it is sort of being a big brother and, and really just uh, just being there, really just being there, a pres uh, like a, a, a present present force in their lives. Um, and like I said before, I think really listening. I think in, in the school setting, a lot of times young boys are not, they're not really given their just due or any type of credit. And I think the fact that someone can listen to what their issues are, their challenges, I think those are things that are, are important. You know, um, in terms of other rewards, I mean, there's things like today, there's trips, um, we bring in guest speakers, you know, we bring in food for the men just as a token of our appreciation. Um, but I think they, in the end, re reward themselves because the group is a voluntary group and a lot of the boys, you know, they, they come very consistently. So the one analogy I always like to use is, say, for example, the window in this room that we're sitting in were to break. And I asked a young boy at the beginning of the year in September to fix the window. And if he were to look in his toolbox, he may have a piece of gum and a ruler. The chance of him fixing the window would be next to impossible. And I think the idea is that by the end of the group, that if the same window were to break, if I were to ask them to fix it, when they open up their toolbox, they would have uh, the caulking glue to, to fix the, the window in the pane. They'd have maybe suction cups to lift up the glass. They'd have a level or maybe a rubber hammer to bang it into place. So I think the idea is uh, giving the young men lots of tools. And I think that uh, even if we've, at the very end, the least we've done is given them one extra tool to help them be more successful in life and for them to be able to navigate through the various social spheres in their life, uh, community life, on the block, in the classroom as they get older, in the work. If we're able to teach them how to navigate through all those fears, I feel that 
you know, we've uh, contributed to the overall success and hopefully future success of that, that young individual. When I started the group, I was sort of misbehaving, causing trouble. But now I don't cause trouble. Um, I try my best in school. It makes me feel good inside to know that I, I accomplished something. 